So let me describe the differences that uh, we're trying to encapsulate between private and public neoantigens. So perhaps 99% of all neoantigens are so-called private neoantigens. And as we've tried to encapsulate with the name, the private implies that they are unique to individual patients. They're unique to individual patients because they result from passenger mutations, which is really a bystander process of mutagenesis and cartilagenesis. So because they're a bystander, because private neoantigens don't directly influence a cancer cell's ability to be a cancer cell, if you put it under immunologic selection pressure by immune attack, uh, tumor cells can lose expression of those antigens and still be uh, lethal. There's not a fitness cost to the tumor cells for losing expression. Uh, finally, it's very difficult to make uh, neoantigen-directed therapy to private neoantigens because it implies making a drug or a therapeutic that's applicable to just one patient. So that has a lot of time, uh, resource implications. A public neoantigen, by contrast, is a neoantigen that might be shared by more than one patient. And the best way uh, for, to accomplish that goal is to target an epitope that is resulting from a recurrent mutation in a driver oncogene that actually causes cancer. So some examples, an example I showcased today was for a gain-of-function mutation in PI3 kinase, a very commonly mutated driver oncogene in breast and endometrial cancer, as well as other common solid cancers. But some other recent examples include uh, public neoantigens resulting from mutant KRAS or even mutant P53. The virtue of targeting these antigens is not only that they might be shared among patients, but they also would tend to be uh, uniformly or clonally expressed because they directly contribute to the cancer cell's fitness. Finally, if you put uh, cancer cells under immune selection pressure by targeting epitopes from, from these proteins, it's very difficult for the cancer cell to lose expression of these source proteins and still be uh, a malignant phenotype. So the tendency for immune resistance should be less. And finally, because they are applicable to groups of patients, the cost of goods, uh, the cost to develop a new therapeutic should hopefully be, be less than targeting a private antigen.